Hey guys, today I'm here to do my review of Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maps. Um, as we already know, in my last two videos, I already mentioned, well, my Throne of Glass video, I mentioned this, and the Crown of Midnight video, is I was rereading this series while I went to get Crown, Crown, Queen of Shadows from the library, and I'm still on hold. Still in seventh place. I think I already mentioned that in my Friday reads from the second first of October. Second of October. But yep, yeah, I'm still in that place. And today when I am filming this, it is the fifth of October. I don't know when it is going to go up, so maybe after this is up I will probably have read Queen of Shadows and that video may go up, so you never know. So, on to my review. This book was brilliant. Sarah J. Mass is becoming my favourite author. Her writing style is engaging, engrossing, intelligent and easy to follow. Pardon me. Her imagination and storytelling are amazing. This story is a lot slower than Crown of Midnight, but it concentrates more on character development. At the end of the last book, we learned not only why Selena Sadafian really is, not only who Selena Sadafian really is, but also what what she really is. Her relationship with Cole is in tatters, having suggested to the king to send her on a mission for her own protection and cutting Prince Dorian out of the loop. Cole is in no man's land, distracting himself from Dorian for Dorian's own protection. He starts to do his job and notices some irregularities with a certain high-ranking high -ranking general. This force is called Kale. Sorry, I keep calling him Cole, but isn't it Kale? I should know by now, but will you put it in the down below? In the down the comments, if I am getting the name wrong. This verse is called to make some decisions of his own. How long can a good honourable man serve a tyrant or like the king of Ard Ardalan and his many atrocities? Dorian is more alone than he has ever been. But he does manage to find solace. Finding company is not really difficult for a handsome prince. But who can he trust? This is truly difficult as he has to not only keep his own activities with his father, which his father will not approve of, secret, his friend's secret, and most of all his magic. We are also introduced to the Iron Witch, witch Clan and especially Man and Blackbeak. Meanwhile, Selena detours from her mission and pursues her own agenda. Meeting Mason, forgotten and powerful relatives. Before she is allowed to get the answers she wants, she must learn her heritage, her powers. She must learn to control them and master them. She has to train and relearn everything just because you are in a stranger's body. Does it mean you control it, especially in a fight situation? A great story, it's very character driven. And impossible to put down. I kept thinking I will read just one one more chapter and flick at a few pages and thought, okay, I'll stop at the next section break. Oh, that's a short, short chapter. I might as well finish it. Suddenly, half a quarter of the book was gone. Despite being 500 and... Let's see. It's 50... 60... 62 pages. The book just flies by. It sets up the next book excellently, including a fair, including a confrontation. And I can't wait to have Queen of Shadows in my hand. It's it's thrilling, also it's thrilling, captivating, razor sharp, heartbreaking, and it's full of swoon. Warrants it, wallop. Warriors. Air of Fire is absolutely best. This is my favourite of the series because of all the 
well building and I really enjoyed this and I cannot wait to read off the titles I've just said Queen of Shadows that review oh this review is more spoiling and I'm sorry about that guys but yeah I will see you in my next video which I'm hoping I don't know what it's going to be I play film on videos a lot. I play film videos, so what go up, I don't know. It's whatever mood I'm in, or what's been there longest. So, bye!